In this video, we'll cover all the basics of customizing the data grid edit form. I've already created a simple MBC application using the DevExtreme ASP.NET MBC5 project template, added the data grid control on the index page, and defined a data source for the grid. Here's a grid. It displays information on employees. Now let's enable grid editing. To do this, I'll specify the allow adding and allow updating fields. And let's see the result. The row mode is used by default. Editing in the data grid can be performed in five modes, row, batch, cell, pop-up, and form. The row mode is used by default, and we already saw how it works. Now let's enable the form editing to edit data in a separate edit form, and see the result in the browser again. As you can see, the data grid automatically renders the name and text from a data source field, which is bound to each editor. The data grid renders a lookup editor for the lookup column and a date box editor for the column with the data type date. Now let's group editors by overall information. To do this, I'll assign an array of specified items to the editing.form.items option. Here is a group form section consisting of a caption and child form items. I can customize the layout options for each group separately. Let's see the results in the browser again. All right, now data is grouped. I can also specify custom options for a separate editor. Let's customize the birth date editor. I've already set the name of the data source field containing data for the form field. Now I'll specify configuration options to use the editor field and define the editor's type. It's a date box. Then set the minimum and maximum values that are allowed for selection. and let's look at the result in the browser. Now you can only select dates between 1997 and 1960. And that's it. To learn more about DevExtreme ASP.NET MVC tools, check out this playlist, subscribe to our channel, or refer to our documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.